So let's take a few moments to breathe and to feel to bring that witnessing power of all of our senses to what's happening right here, right now. As the air flows in and out, breath in, breath out. Just aware of this interchange between the inner self and the outer self, the inner world and the outer world. Attention inwards on the in-breath, attention outwards on the out-breath. with the breath itself being a bridge. So let's say our invocation together. Towards the one, the perfection of love, harmony and beauty. The only being, united with all the illuminated souls who form the embodiment of the Master, the message, the mystery, the miracle, the Mother, the Spirit, of, of guidance. guidance. And then, if you know it, please join with me in saying the Surah Fatiha. Bismillahi Rahmani Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar Rahman Irahim. Maliki Yomidin. Yaka Nabudua Yaka Nastain. Ihtina Sirat al Mustahim, Sirat al Adina, Anamta Alayim, Khail Mahdubi Alayim Waladani. Amen. So we're going to begin with Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim and Salik's going to lead us in a dance. Bismillah. Bismillah. Irrahmanir Rahim. Irrahmanir Rahim. Sing that four times and then I think it's four times. Anyway, several times and then Allah. Allah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim 
times, isn't it? Um, it's close to the right so I suppose. Is it? Uh, is that a key all right for you? Because it could be a little bit higher. It could be a D or something. Is that all right. to the right and stepping but because we're on zoom we'll just imagine that we're stepping to the right we're in a circle stepping stepping to the right and turning our heart to the right like a sometimes I imagine my heart is like a a great big searchlight like a great big beam of light and when I'm turning it turn my heart the beam turns as well Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. To the left. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Then we turn. Allah. Turn clockwise. Allah. Allah. You can turn as fast or slow as you want, and then we turn to the left. Allah, 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 Allah. I find something very liberating about the turning on Allah in this particular dance. I feel like I'm turning with abandon. <laughs> Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. We begin in the name of love, of unity. Radiant love, compassionate, enfolding love. When you said abandon there, it just reminded me of that phrase of Merchant Sam's. Abandon tension, all ye who enter here. Apparently that's what's written on the gates of heaven. <laughs> so we can dance with abandoning yes. tension.
Alhamdulillah. <clears throat> so just to remind you, oops, <clears throat> is this something you wanted to No, I only fell off my chair. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure if you were nudging me or no. grabbing hold of me. <laughs> okay. So yes, just as a reminder, the Surah Fatiha begins as so many verses in the Quran do with that phrase Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim in the name of the only being and remember that being is love in the vibration of unity in the sound the light the atmosphere of unity love the sun and moon of love Sorry. <laughs> so I'm going to share with you that same phrase in the melody that Saadi Neil Douglas Klotz uses for the Bismillah of the Surah Fatiha. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We begin in the name of God, everlasting mercy, infinite compassion. And hearing this irresistible voice of love's wellspring and love's goal. And so the second line, Alhamdulillah, Hirabil Alamin, Arahman, Irahim. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Hirabil Alamin. Hirabil Alamin. Arahman, Irahim. Arahman, Irahim. All praise 
to the creator and sustainer of all the worlds. And in case you forgot, that is love, the sun and moon of love. Praise be to God, loving Lord of all the worlds, of everlasting mercy, infinite compassion. So, what order shall I do this in? What order shall I do this in? I don't know what... <laughs> Shall I, do the, <coughs> shall I do the line next? Maybe I will. Let's sing the line. So we're going to do some more exploration of this line. We, last time we spent quite a bit of time looking at the Rabbi Lalamin, the <clears throat> this creator and sustainer, this loving creator and protector and nourisher of all physical realms. Um, So we'll sing this second line and then we'll do some more exploration of it. Alhamdulillah, hirabi lalamin. Alhamdulillah, hirabi lalamin. Arrahman, irahim. Arrahman, irahim. Alhamdulillah, hirabi lalamin. Alhamdulillah, hirabi lalamin. Alhamdulillah, hirabi of all praiseworthy qualities constantly returns to the one being give praise and celebrate alhamdulillah alhamdulillah this being of beings mysteriously nurtures and sustains grows and brings to maturity all worlds universes all aspects of consciousness and knowledge all storylines and lesson plans and in case you forgot this source is the original womb of love i wanted to share with you some deepening understanding of this word alhamdulillah this word of praise and celebration So I'm going to read a little bit from the Physicians of the Heart and we'll do some practice with it and then we'll do a dance. So the root of this word, Alhamdulillah, is Alhamid. 
So Alhamd is the kind of compressed version of it. And Dulillah is the praise returning to Allah, to the, to the one. So Al-Hamid is contained within the often repeated name Alhamdulillah, which means that all gratitude and praise return to Allah. Uh, it's, I mean, it's, if you've ever been in an um, Arabic-speaking country, you hear this word all the time, all day, every day. Um, somebody asks you how you are. Alhamdulillah, I'm well. Um, anything that happens, you know. Um, some, you know, something terrible happened. You know, I, I lost something, lost someone. Alhamdulillah. This is the... Um, the container of, of all of this, all of our experience, and uh, I was taught by my Sufi guide when, when, you know, when somebody begins to stand up and teach or show themselves in a way, then there's always you, one meets um, feedback, <laughs> and sometimes it's positive feedback. And my teacher taught me that the response to that is Alhamdulillah. And sometimes it's negative feedback, you know, you didn't do that right, or, you know, which can be quite <clears throat> devastating when you're new and not very confident. And again, my teacher taught me that the correct response to that is Alhamdulillah. <laughs> so, Al Hamid means an, in an eternal way that all gratitude, all hamd, has its source in God. The emanation of Hamd reaches every aspect of existence. Each individual thing and everything as a whole returns that Hamd to its source, to the source. The Quran says that among rows upon rows of birds, each one knows its own mode of Hamd. Each bird that sings shows the diversity of gratitude. Every single atom of the universe is saying Alhamdulillah in its own way. It's lovely, uh, you know, where we live at the moment, there's so much beautiful bird song. Um, and they are so different, all these different birds making their different sounds. It's a wonderful reminder and image of all these different ways of returning praise to the one. And it can be really helpful for us, you know, we're inclined to think human beings that, that there's a right way to be or a right way to do things or, you know, that we really ought to be like other people in some way and yet we don't always feel like other people. Um, and this is the, the reassurance that each one of us returns our praise to the only being in our own unique and individual way, just like every atom in the universe is doing that in its own individual way. This multiplicity and diversity of praise, it's all returning to the one. It's all praise, praising God. So let's do some repetitions of Ya Hamid. Um, just to say that the sound code of this again points to the fact that that praise is discovered in every place in the universe, anywhere that you look, any um, anything that you open up and peer inside, what you find in there is Hamid. Um, every heart, every bird, every atom, every single place in the universe, Al Hamid. Praising Allah. Ya Hamid, 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 Ya Hamid. Yeah, Hamid. So let's really explore that openness of the sound ha, that praise, and then the Eid, finding it landing in our own hearts and, and directed to every place in the universe. 
Ya Hamid. 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 So a few moments of just breathing with Hamid. Allowing it to follow the breath in and the breath out. Everywhere that the breath can travel, we find Allah. And so the praise can travel wherever the breath goes. Letting the word fall away and just feeling our breath as a breath of praise and gratitude and celebration. Then let's take our hands to our hearts and we'll move into Alhamdulillah. 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 Um, let's dance again. Let's. Mm -hmm. I think we'll do this. Ya Shakur, Ya Hamid. Yes, please. Ya Shakur, Allah. Ya Hamid. Ya Shakur, Allah. Ya Hamid. La ilaha il Allah hu. La ilaha il Allah hu. La ilaha il Allah. La ilaha il Allah. So, gratitude and praise. There is nothing but God. So, as we sing this we can continue to be aware of the breath coming in and out so that this gratitude and praise travels on the breath and you know it's often easier to give thanks and praise out there but let's not forget gratitude and praise for this aspect of creation our bodies our beings our creative gifts 
giving thanks and praise for that as well. Yashakurala Yahamid Yashakurala Yahamid Yashakurala Yahamid Yashakurala stand to show you the movements and um, Ernest did you want to leave this one darling? No. Okay. So we start with our left hand on right shoulder, right hand on left shoulder and we are dancing with a partner so choosing somebody on the screen or inviting somebody into your room that you would love to share this gratitude and praise with. And so the first, Ya Shakur Allah, Ya Hamid, opening the heart wide and then reaching out with the hand. Let's hit it with the music. Ya Shakur Allah, Ya Hamid, Ya Shakur partner and um, bringing them into your room doing a whole circle with them together ya shakur allah ya hamid and then we take this little parcel that we've made with our hands and we open it up and we discover what there is inside these miracles for gratitude and praise and celebration Ya Shakur Allah, Ya Hamid. Turning to the right, La Ilaha Illallah. Other way, La Ilaha Illallah. Stepping forwards, La Ilaha. 
Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So I think just for those of you that like to see things written down, I'm going to show you again the um, transliteration, there we go, of the Fatiha. So you can see so far we've done Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman, Irahim. And hopefully you've, you've got quite a sense now of what all of those words can represent. You know, there, there are always so many possible ways. As you can see from Sari's translation um, or um, poetic expanded um, translation, there are many, many ways to interpret these words. Just sing once or twice more that second line, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, so that you can allow all of those sounds and words to dance upon your tongues and resonate mm. in your beings. This praise and celebration returning to the only being, this creator and sustainer, the Allah to be Rabbikum, the Rabbi Lalameen, the creator and sustainer of all the worlds. Arrahman Irahim, love, love, love. I was just uh, reflecting on when you were talking about all the different meanings and that um, meanings in sort of language terms are only ever signposts towards the truth and signposts towards experience and um, whereas the from my experience that that can get me caught up in the head sometimes whereas experience of the sounds and of the music and the movement is more direct and can take us out of our heads mm -hmm. so I sometimes I, I mean I've been I've been saying the Suri Fatiha for a while and I kind of forget what it means but I like the way it feels <laughs> yeah yeah that's true and um, you know you're so right there's this sense of fingers pointing at the moon we're trying to um, make these signposts towards some of our experience and our feelings and you know people also have different ways um, of doing things mm. and some people like to have a, an engagement in the brain you know for me it helps me to trigger some of those body experiences if I actually know what I'm singing about I can launch my imagination and engage more of my being if mm. I if I understand what it is that I'm, mm. that I'm singing about yeah Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Lalami. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Lalami. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Lalami. Arahmani Rahi, Arahmani Rahi.
So the next part, just two words. Maliki Yelmidin. Maliki, this comes from Yamalik. Um, Yelmidin. Let's just, could you be my echo? Mm -hmm. Maliki. Maliki. Yelmidin. Yelmidin. And for me, this is a, a, an example of why some of these explorations of meaning are helpful, because this is a troublesome line in the way that it's been translated traditionally. It was translated as things like ruler of the day of judgment or lord of the day of judgment, seeing this sort of... Um, um, you know, as, as humans are so inclined to do and uh, making their sense of the God ideal into some judgmental patriarchal father figure. Um, but there, are, there are many ways, again, to understand this and to feel this. Yeah, if you want to find that in those words, you can find that there. But there are many other ways to understand it. So I wanted to do some exploration of Ya Malik. This is the word that is sometimes translated as king or lord or um, it's connected with the Aramaic word that some of you are familiar with, the Malkuta, the I can, the reigning principle. So let me read again from Physicians of the Heart, Ya Malik. before I read, just to say that, um, you know, I think, I was going to say we're all, but maybe so many of us, I should say, are scarred by our experiences of power, power which has often been used as power over, um, abusive power, often um, patriarchal power. And what that can do is make us um, suspicious of our own power and wary of it. Um, so I think it's really important to make friends with power because power of itself is the, you know, the force of the universe, the I can of the cosmos. Um, and so often when we really investigate these historical roots of power, it's uh, it's power in the sense of responsibility, in the sense of taking care of a group of people. Um, as parents of teenagers, and I'm sure some of you will be able to relate to this, um, you know, there's this um, journey through, uh, as people grow towards adulthood, of um, wanting more power, but not really wanting the responsibility that comes with power. And so, you know, the, a real healthy, wholesome kind of power is totally balanced with awareness and responsibility and um, holding power, uh, you know, a sense of taking on board the consequences of one's actions and, and how other people will be affected and putting all that in a balanced and, um, yeah, considerate way. Anything you want to reflect on that? Only that sometimes the, our teenagers would see it as freedom, but perhaps that comes along with freedom and power come together in some way. Self-determination. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> so, Ya Malik, the quality of Al Malik is to hold everything in the universe in the hands of the one and only being. It is an all-inclusive and majestic embrace. It's a great big hug of the universe, Al-Malik. <laughs> the word for angel, Malak, is closely related to this name. Angels are made of light and are held in the hands of Allah. The light of Al-Malik holds the inner essence of each and everything. Each thing's essence 
never leaves this majestic embrace and never returns to it because it is permanently rooted in it. So the essence of everything, every being, every one of us and everything else in this cosmos is held in that embrace of Yal Malik. Ya yeah, Malik thus experienced um, is, is this experience as holding everything's essence in the inner world. There we go. So yes, this inclusive, all inclusive, majestic embrace, this holding. And you know, as as um that quality it began to be experienced as this word word for king or queen or ruler. And that's often how it's translated as king. Um, that power in the sense of being able to see what's needed and provide that to hold in safety and in this all-inclusive majestic embrace the whole community inner and outer, all of creation. So that's what we're talking about in the Maliki Yomidin. So let's do some repetitions of Yal Malik to feel this embrace of the, of the cosmos, embrace of the Holy One, which we can't ever leave. We're always held in that embrace. Ya Malik 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 So again let's let this travel on the breath breathing in Malik this all inclusive hug embracing all of our inner cosmos our inner being all of our inner community the out breath of Malik Breathing out into the embrace of the only being who holds every one of us, every aspect of creation. Breathing in with this noticing quality of our inner community, which aspects of our inner community feel left out of this embrace, letting them all know that they are all included. They can't fall out of this embrace. There's no way, there's nowhere else to go. And with the out breath, allowing ourselves to fall deeper into this embrace, held held by sacred unity.
each out breath helping us to let go a little bit more and to realize this holding embrace to recognize that we can't fall out of it we're always held So there's a walking practice that Murshid Sam gave us. Um, from the series of planetary walks, this walk of Jupiter has this quality of Malik. Jupiter, this, this kingly, queenly, regal planet with this beautiful sense of invitation, inclusion, holding, um, this generosity of spirit and this um, strength and power but in this warm, generous, holding way. So we begin with a very powerful in-breath, long in-breath, breathing in, inviting, including all of our experience, the out breath, just a response to that. And then I'm going to walk and when you feel you catch this, you can walk with me, join me. Very upright, the gaze bringing in, including all of this realm, inviting it all in, holding it in these warm, generous arms. that story from the Bible where Jesus says God notices even the sparrow that falls to the ground every little part is noticed is included is cared for is brought into this majestic powerful huge Jupiter is a huge planet this vastness with plenty of room, plenty of holding power and capacity. Remembering this powerful in-breath, inviting it all in. The eyes moving side to side, noticing, noticing every member of the community we can pay that attention to the inner community, noticing everyone, including the ones who are hiding in the corners. It's okay, you can hide there if you need to, but you're still welcome. You're still included in this hug and this embrace. Even an awareness out of the back of the head, the eyes in the back of the head, like a parent with children, small children, 
with that awareness of where they are, what they're doing, are they safe, are they okay? Just holding that, not with anxiety and fear, just with awareness and holding and love. And when you feel ready, coming back to sitting. So this quality of Malik, majestic power, and so let's move to the other troublesome word in this line, Yalmedin. This word which was translated as the day of judgment. So we could look at this as the day of the great return when everything unwinds and dissolves back to where it all came from. If we see the whole cycle of creation as this spiraling out of that first creative spark, the big bang, this explosion of life. And then at the end of time, the unraveling, the unwinding and returning to where it all came from. So this power of Malik, this great majestic embracing power is the same power that was there before the beginning that is embracing and holding us all the way through and that will be there holding us and embracing us at the end when everything unravels and returns to the source so this quality of Malik is unending unchanging it's there from before the beginning to after the end what a capacity for embracing and holding that is. So a couple of possible translations or a couple more possible translations of this line. Um, this is in the translation by Imam Bilal Hyde. Eternal strength of every living being whose majestic power embraces us on the day of the great return. Eternal strength of every living being whose majestic power embraces us on the day of the great return. Or in the words of Sir D. Neil Douglas Klotz, this Malik this I can, it says I can. On the day when all elements part company and return home. When the threads of interweaving destiny unravel and the invoices come due. This universe being accepts the mission to resolve the unresolvable. At the time when time ends, just as it said yes to the birth movements which began it. Maliki Yomidin. This great embracing power, this I can of the cosmos that holds and embraces no matter what happens, no matter what unraveling, dissolving. When the invoices come due, when the chickens come home to roost, when the cows come home, uh, it's the power which is there, just as it was there 
during the birth pangs of it all and said yes to it, continues to say yes. Maliki al Medini. So this is a call and response and in a way we're wandering around in these unravelling threads of our destiny, feeling our way into this everlasting embrace, this constant yes coming from the universe. And the echo of that yes coming from deep within each one of us from our beings, that embrace, that holding power, which is everywhere in the cosmos, including in us.
so I was going to do something else but actually that feels kind of complete to me so I think let's close by again repeating the Surah Fatiha together and inshallah now you can join me for the first three lines of it even if you don't know the rest of it Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Arrahman Irahim Maliki Yomidin Yaka Nabudua Yaka Nastain Ifna Sirat al Mustahim Sirat al Adina Anamta Alain Hail Magdubi Alain 